Hello, hello. Long time no see. Now, I have been meaning to vlog. I am just a very lazy person, as you can tell by my YouTube channel. I went to Paris. This is past December. I was like, I'm gonna vlog it. I'm gonna do everything. Like, I, I did with Nika Agua, like I did with some videos in Costa Rica. And I'm like, I'm gonna, like, document prices and do all that stuff. Nothing. I literally am just way too embarrassed to record in front of people. Like, I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but it's weird. In Costa Rica, I have no, like, I'm not shy at all. And then when I'm in the States, I'm a little more shy. And then France, like, Literally, I did not even take out my phone. Like, I would take my phone out just for, like, a quick picture or video, and that's it. Because it's just, like, I'm like, I don't want to be that American. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I just don't. But, um, this year is a new year, and, again, I'm going to try this YouTube thing. I really like it, because, like, right now, I'm cleaning out my Google One. I literally, from 2018 to 2019, I finished. I've eliminated 5,000 photos. Um, I was also going to make a moving vlog, because I moved from Costa Rica to California for four months. And I never made anything. Not one vlog. Like, I mean, I did. And then I just didn't like them, or I just didn't really like look back at them, and I just deleted them. So um, I love looking back at the videos and seeing like how I used to be, like where I was at life, and like things were just so different. And you don't realize it in the moment, you know what I mean? You always look back at it, and you know all of this was taking up like a crap ton of storage. I literally have like thirty megabytes of videos and photos, and uh, well, I was at like fifty. I I dropped it down to thirty right now, but I still have two thousand twenty, two thousand twenty one, two thousand twenty two to go over. So that's three years of photos and videos. I have to go over through my drive, eliminate them all, and hope have everything on my computer and a hard drive and just leave it like that because it's too much and um i wanted to start making youtube videos again not just for like views or anything because i really can care less i just really like having these like core memories and then looking back at them and if i have them all organized in like youtube videos and i have them i can always look back at them and it's free like it's free so it's the best i don't really do that this year that's gonna be one of my propositions but um this year i well last year i finished my last quarter of the university so i'm completely done technically almost a vet i just need to pass my exams so there's a lot of studying i'm gonna do next quarter um and hopefully get a part-time job now i don't know where i'm gonna live that's a little complicated right now so my life is kind of like a circus it's kind of crazy but it's gonna be changing a lot and i'm gonna document it all you know you never know one day i'll have kids and they'll be like how are you mom at 22 years old and i'm gonna be like i was a mess don't worry if you got this so yeah like good luck charlie i don't know if anyone would watch that or Okay, so update on my current state. I'm sitting on the floor because I'm exhausted of this and I just went through all of my photos and videos of 2019. I went through 2021 as well. Deleted a lot of photos, have them, the ones that I really like, downloaded. I just need to download them to external hard drive and I'm just going to take a break because I can't sit still for very long. I am going insane. So I'm going to do a quick workout, probably um, shower and then go for some lunch. Okay, so now I'm walking to the bank because it's a sunny day all of a sudden and uh, I definitely need to pay off my credit card to keep my good credit score. So I'm gonna be walking there. Um, and then I'll continue with my lists. I ate lunch and did my workout, so that's out of the way. Now I'm just gonna turn this money. Okay. So I ended up walking. I have Alejandro's scrubs that he was asking me for. I walked for two hours and I'm still walking. I deposited the money in Chase. Then I walked to Walmart and um, yeah, I got him and his mom chocolates and then um, scrubs that he was asking me for. So I was editing and I realized that I never explained why I was buying chocolates and scrubs and it's because in Costa Rica all of that's really expensive. So um, that's why I bought it over there and then just bring it over. Now I'm walking home. Hopefully I can finish my to-do list by today, but it's not looking so good. It looks like it's gonna rain too on top of it all. So I'm finally home. After 20,000 steps, 20,800 steps, that's like about 10 miles that I walked today. There's Bria hanging out with her and just drinking some water because I'm so exhausted. Before I was here, I did a leg workout. Her and sniffing. She's so cute. Then I walked 10 miles and I'm finally home. This wasn't even in my plans today. Like, this is what happens. There's always time. Look at how cute she is. Like, she's like looking at me constantly. She hasn't been outside. She's literally been inside all day long. And all she wants to do is sit next to me, so. I really haven't eaten either. I just ate an ice cream and like have a salad before leaving, so I think I might fix myself something. Okay, catch you guys later. Who's a good girl, huh? Cheers. Yes, cheers. Okie dokie. So I was very exhausted. I fixed myself up something to eat, came upstairs around like 4 30, 4 ish and uh, just scrolled through TikTok until six and was watching Netflix when my dad came in. We started watching Kaleidoscope together. Um, I had dinner and then fell asleep. That was my day. Um, so today I'm gonna try to finish this vlog and finish my list, which is still remove the acryl my acrylic nails. I need to update my CV. I need to stop unnecessary email subscriptions, which I have already started, thank God. Um, my acrylic nails, I don't have the 100% nail polish remover, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that. These ones I literally bit off 
and I have two here because they don't have any cracks, so like I don't fidget at them. But as soon as they get a crack, I start like peeling it, peeling it, peeling it, and just don't give it a break until it's off. But I really want to take them off because they're way too long, and I'm this is the first time I've ever had acrylic nails, so I'm not a long nail person. I don't know how people do it. Honestly, it annoys the crap out of me every time I'm trying to type something up. vlogging people um i'm so bad at this honestly so today's gonna be a zoo day and just chill i'm like honestly exhausted i'm like so tired and last night i fell asleep at night and i woke up at 7 30 like i slept a crap ton and i'm still like tired i don't know if that happens to you guys like i'm just i don't know traveling and just like i'm just so exhausted i just really want to like a rest day but i didn't want to be home today so here i am at the zoo anyways i'll take you guys around and show you guys the sandy zoo while i'm here have our tiger first up next on the condor trail we got the bald eagle Damn, just look at these views, guys. Like, nothing beats the San Diego Spark. Here we can see Fleming responds a little bit. Okay, so I'm here at the San Diego Zoo. It is absolutely gorgeous as always. Um, obviously, I'm embarrassed to record myself in front of people. So right now I'm in a secluded area. I'm right outside in the succulent garden that they have. It's it's really pretty. I learned that aloe is from Africa and then agave is actually from California in the US South region. So yeah, that's pretty interesting stuff. You now I'm looking at a bunch of US um, type of plants. So many of you don't know this bird, but this is a cassowary bird. You could recognize him from the movie Somewhere. Up and um, they're one of the closest relatives to dinosaurs, so they're pretty cool animals. They're also one of the most aggressive birds, so definitely be careful. <laughs> so the San Diego Zoo has a section of a bunch of little bonsai trees. You see, and you could see their age sometimes. Look at this, it's like so cute. See, look at this one right here is 800 years old. After the bonsai trail, I came to the Australia section and I saw little kangaroos that they had out. Super sweet, you could be out there with them. They don't really get near humans, but they're, they're just chilling. So this is the okapi. They are found in the Central Africa in Congo. In the wilds, they're currently endemic because of poaching. They are related to giraffes and are super cool. They, a lot of people think that they're related to zebras, but they're actually from the giraffe family, so. We got Pumba from the Lion King. So, halfway through the zoo, not even through African rocks. I've only done Australia, but um, yeah, Africa takes a while, then I have the gorillas. Then I'm off. I still have so much to do. It's like 12.30. I was expecting to leave the zoo at, at 1, but I've been reading everything, so that's why it takes a little longer. Fun fact about this is that there is an avian influenza going around. It's been going on for a while now. So they removed all their flamingos and everything to different habitats to protect them. Here we can see two female lions in the exhibit. The male lion died about a year ago, I believe. And um, yeah, so there's only these two left. Here we can see the chubby unicorns. And um, sadly, the northern white rhino and the western black rhino are now extinct. So. We got these guys. At least we saw these guys. Interesting fact about gorillas, only the males can be silverback and um, that female that's walking right in front of the male is the oldest one in the San Diego Zoo. She's 45 years old. Okay, 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 so I got out of the zoo. It was a lot of fun. I absolutely love the zoo. Every time I go, it does not fail me. So now I'm gonna go to my cousin's house and pick up fluid stuff and then I'm gonna go to my aunt's house, swing by, say hi. I'm gonna have to go to the store to buy things for my cousin and then lastly, I'm gonna pick up Crystal and we're gonna have a picnic and, and watch the sunset. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go for boba and snacks. So yes, I am very busy right now. I'm gonna go fast. Okie dokie, so I finished the zoo. After the zoo, I went to go hang out with my aunt, and um, that was really fun. We just sat there, hung out, she gave me lunch, and now I'm here picking up my friend. We're gonna go watch the sunset. With the failed sunset view. <laughs> 
So due to the lack of me vlogging, I have to fill in the gaps and basically after having the picnic at night with my friends, we went home and I did some vision boards with her. It was really fun. It was, we ate Chipotle, just had a good time. Then I dropped her home, I went to bed and early the next morning I woke up, had breakfast and then my dad dropped me off at the train station to go to LA and get my flight for Costa Rica where I'm at right now. this vlog I ended up in Costa Rica where I'm at now and I'm happy I just get real sad when I leave one home to the next I've got family in both sides and I just love both countries so yeah basically that's it and um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching and catch me next time because I'm gonna be posting a lot more